Hello, hello. This video tutorial is to show you how to create what I call a stacked vertical pin, meaning half video and half static image. You might have seen these stacked vertical pins on Pinterest where the top half or the bottom half of the pin is playing like a video and the other half is a static or still image. These are uploaded as a video, but they're very eye-catching, they're cool to see, and Pinterest has made it very clear that they are prioritizing and wanting users to upload video pins. Also, Tailwind, which is the number one tool that I use for my Pinterest marketing, has now enabled scheduling video pins into your Tailwind queue. So this was a perfect time to give you a tutorial on how to do this. So let's get started with creating a new pin. So you're gonna create a new canvas and you're gonna title it, I'm gonna say uh, stacked video pin template and then you want to uh, create it by your pixel size that you want. So I do 1000 by 1500. This is for a vertical pin, meaning a two to three ratio. You could also do this as 600 by 900. If you're doing a pin image in Canva, it will show up as 735 by 1102. However, I do 1000 by 1500 because my Pinterest ads rep has said they prefer and prioritize 1000 by 1500 for promoted pins because they're a higher quality of pixel. I do not like doing things twice. I like to do it right the first time. And so I'm gonna create a pin that I can use to promote in the future. So go ahead and create that template. Now I am using Photoshop Creative Cloud. You might have a different version. You might have it set up differently. I can't speak to any of that, but I am gonna give you a really quick basic, you know, whatever menu you show, you're gonna be able to do this. The cool thing about using Photoshop is it's easier than a program like Adobe Premiere Pro um, or some of the other ones that I've seen floating around for these half and half stacked pins. Photoshop is pretty much the easiest you can get. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to Window and then enable your timeline. I had that enabled already, but I wanted you to see enable the timeline because you're going to see the different layers with the video down here. The next thing you're going to do is import the video that you want to put on whatever half you want. So go to layer, video layers, and then new video layer from file. I know that I have put the one that I want in my stock photos. I'm gonna go ahead and sort this by video. I know that's the one that I want, and that's gonna pop right into the template. Now, the reason that this is really cool is most people do not create videos in a vertical format, meaning two to three ratio, like a tall skinny pin. Most people, when they create videos, it's either square or landscape as far as its orientation and size. This is because they're creating video for YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Pinterest is different and it really wants those vertical pins. So the awesome thing about setting up this template for yourself is that you can repurpose the videos that you have already created for your content and pop them into this template and not have to rework the uh, orientation, the pixels, all that kind of stuff and recreate a video. You can just pop what you have already made into this template and it's gonna work great. So I've put in the new video and I'm going to now put in this still 
image that I want to put in the bottom half. So you can, you'll have to rasterize it, I believe, but you can, or smart object, however you say it. I'm not a Photoshop expert, so I don't actually know what these terms mean, um, but you can move it around in this way. I am going to place embed the image that I created for this pen, specifically for this pen. And it's how to plan a business planning retreat. So you can see that I have actually um, done what I would do for a normal pen. I've put the title, what you're gonna get, I've put a mock-up of this workbook and my logo. And so, I am actually going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna convert it, make it a little bit smaller so that you can actually see what's going on here. So you can see how easy it is to, depending on what you wanna do, whether it's square, like however you wanna do this, just figure it out, drag and drop, make things bigger or smaller, just make it look um, how it looks right for you. So the next thing that's really important is this timeline down here. And I'm gonna drag this up so you can see it. So you can see that layer one is the video and this is how long it is, it's actually 40, seconds. So I want to make sure and drag the image all the way to the end so it is the same length. Um, if I have other layers like text, if I didn't have this image and I just put like a stock photo and then I wanted to type uh, the text overlay over it, you're going to see all these layers in Photoshop and what you'll want to make sure and do is make sure they are all the same length. Maybe I don't want this to be 40 seconds because I think that's a little long for Pinterest. Maybe I want it to be, um, how about 15 seconds? How about that? Mm, close enough, 15 seconds. And so I'm going to put this back here and there we go. Now it's the same length. So once you're happy and satisfied with how everything looks, and again, you can simply do a stock photo image in the bottom half and put a text overlay for what they're clicking through to. The one thing I would make sure of is that you have your logo in the bottom center or the top center of the pin or the image so that it shows where it's supposed to go back to. And then you wanna go ahead and file, export, and render video. And so you have some choices here. I am going to actually save this in that folder. So it's totally in the wrong place. So I'm going to select the folder that I want it to go into. I have a lot of blogs. Hang on. How to plan, how to plan. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna say stacked video pin one, because I might do more than one. And then you can mess with things like the quality. I would not do high quality, I would do medium quality. You can mess with the frame rate, all of that. I. I don't know enough about video design to be able to say what's better or not. I'm gonna go ahead and click render. And I will be back when that is done. Alrighty, so it looks like it has finished rendering and you can see in my blog folder where I have all assets for this blog, stacked video pin one shows as an MP4. Let's see what it looks like. And there you go. And this is a video file that you would upload either directly into Pinterest or in Tailwind. No idea what's happening here. So hopefully that was informative for you and you are confident in how to quickly set up this template, plug in some stock video or your own videos, 
Um, this is really great for repurposing square and landscape videos that you already have. You do not have to do this whole um, image that I did with a mock-up in Canva. You could simply do a stock photo that's static with the title, call to action, whatever they're clicking through to make it simple, make it easy, and take advantage of Tailwind actually being able to schedule video pins now, which is super awesome. Thanks, and I will talk to you soon.